everyone, welcome back to my channel, Michelle with Glamour Has No Age. Today I figured we'd do a get ready with me. I have the cinnamon swirl palette. I also picked up those brushes, that holiday thing that all the influencers are uh, saying get. I got those and I figured, I got those and I figured we use them today in the get ready with me. And we'll see how good they are. I have my little palette, but first I'm going to put on my Mineral Veil Primer. I am combination skin if you're the first time here watching. Now, I watched, I didn't watch all the influencers on these brushes, but I watched Morgan Turner's, and she said that this Raffer brush, the number 31 for applying foundation, should do it streak free. Today, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way. I'm in seashell in case you're interested. It does give a skin-like appearance. This is a nice brush. <laughs> Well, I can say she is right. It does give a streak-free finish. I got a new bronzer from LYS. No Limits Matte Bronzer in Motivate. So we're going to try that out today. And let me do my concealer. Let me do my concealer that I always forget about. I'm using ABH Magic Conceal in number six. I'm gonna put it on my Charlotte Tilbury first. My issue is, is I use too much of this stuff.
think this concealer is too dark for me. Powder down my makeup with Urban Decay, um, what is this? All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. I really like this. I like this product. And I'm going to take this bronzer. I'm going to take the brush 30 that came in the kit and go into this lightly. Not a bad color. This brush picks up a lot of product. The color is good for me. I got the Cineboxy charm. Not bad. That was pretty good. The blush I'm going to use is the number 10 from Natasha Jonah. It looks like this. Blush brush I'm going to use is the refer number 5. I'm going to go into this other color beside it. Not bad, I like the color. I'm gonna go into Cinnamon Swirl. I'm gonna use this rougher number 32. I'm gonna go into See Me Rolling. I'm gonna put that on the tip. I don't think I set the concealer.
I'm going to take a blending brush and, and clean one and try to blend that out. Yeah, that looks better. Then I'm going to take the reference number 28 and go into frost those buns, which is right here, and put that on the lid. I'm gonna go off camera and put on some mascara. And I'm back. All right. I really liked the makeup. I especially enjoyed this brush that I just recently got. It applies the makeup and it looks, oh my God, almost skin-like. So I was really impressed with this new set from Ruffer. Um. This brush was good for bronzer. It wasn't bad. It was okay. Um, it is shedding a little bit, just so that you know these brushes shed. And um, I always like to tell people that, so they, they're not surprised by it. <laughs> and um, I like the rougher brushes that I have. And I think if you have most of the rougher brushes already i think picking up this set right here is worth your money and then you get the three other containers that come with it i don't have them in here because they're in the other room because i can't fit them in my room right now but this rougher number 32 is really good it really set up my eyes in terms of carving them out for where the shadow should be. So this was a, a game changer for me. Usually I'm taking a, a smaller brush and hoping that it 
you know, pops up that, that when I get, I usually I take the smaller brush and hope that I can get it at the right angle. This one, because of the angles, you don't have to worry about that. And I especially like Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl. It's not my first time using it. I used it prior off camera. And I really like it. I like the color story because it's neutral. I like the neutral color story in this. It smells like cinnamon when you get real close. It's not overpowering. And um, the LYS bronzer was a good one. That was good from Barksy Charm. And I enjoyed the Born This Way uh, foundation. Um, with this brush, it was a game changer. Not that it didn't look good before with a sponge or another brush, but it made it look more skin-like. Well, anyways, if you like videos like this, consider sticking around. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.